Hey guys, it's uh, it's been a while since I filmed a video. Um, I probably look a little bit almost hungover. Um, I just did a trip for work to Kelowna, BC, and there are a bunch of forest fires all over the area, and so there's so much smoke in the air that I feel like there's sandpaper on my eyelids, and I can barely breathe. Um, so I apologize if I look a little bit bedraggled. Um, about a month and a half ago, I uh, saw a video for the Beretta 92A1 automatic full auto BB pistol, and uh, I thought, yeah, that looks like that could be a lot of fun. So I ordered it, and I put in a batch of orders for, I think they're called uh, Air Venturi Dust Devil, I think it's Air Venturi, Dust Devil BBs. Um, but anyway... The Dust Devils were back-ordered, and so my whole order kind of sat in limbo for a while while they waited for those because I mistakenly checked the box that says ship it all as one uh, one package. So um, my order was delayed until those BBs came in. Um, but I did finally get my uh, Beretta BB gun, and it's uh, I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. It's a really interesting gun. Um, it's a lot of fun to shoot, a whole lot of fun. Um, so... Without further ado, this is the gun, and let's see if I can get that on there, you can see it. The gun is all metal, um, it's actually, it's pretty heavy, and that doesn't even have the, uh, the magazine in it. The magazine looks like this, the CO2 goes in the bottom, little CO2 powerlet. The BBs load in the front, and there's the mechanism that holds them and then uh, pops them out into the barrel. This thing is all metal, and it weigh it's solid. I mean, it's it weighs a ton. Um, after I got my gun, I started shooting it, and I realized the best part about this gun is shooting it. The worst part is loading it, without a doubt. Um, the way this thing loads, I don't know if you can see, there's a little hole, let's see if I can find it, uh, right there. I can get a light on it, and in focus. Okay, so right there, there's a little slot, and you can see there's a little divot where the BBs, the BBs go in, right here, and in order to get them in, there's a, this little slide you have to pull. And pulling that slide, it's not hard, but it's kind of a pain. It took me the longest time to finally realize that you can pull it down, and there's a little indent over, uh, where is it? over on this side. So you can pull it down and actually slide it and lock it. I'm going to cover up the thing so the BBs don't fall out. but. There's a little uh, lock. Uh, this is really hard to get this to focus. Anyway, you can actually lock it in place, and then whenever you unlock it, let's see if I can get this thing to move. Whoa, just launched a BB out. That was precisely what I didn't want to happen. Yeah. So you can see, you can, you can pull this thing and then slides up and down to allow you to put the BB in and then it'll hold those in place but you can lock it down so you can quickly load the BBs and then pop it back in but even at that the heart the thing that's the biggest pain is this thing will blow through 18 BBs in just a few seconds and it's a pain to load I mean I should, it's not it's not a pain it's annoying that's what it is because you go through them so fast and you want to it's fun to shoot so you want to get back to shooting as fast as possible so I ended up ordering another magazine and uh, because it's so much fun to shoot that way I can just pop one out and pop the other one in like I said the gun is really really heavy um, it is very well built and it's very similar to the real gun there's you can actually take the slide off the slide moves just like the real gun Let's see if I can... and you can lock it
you can, there's a, a switch here you can flick and lock it open. You can unlock it and it slams shut. There's a, the safety is right here. You can also get, it's ambidextrous, so you can get to it from either side. So you hit the safety and it decocks it. Um, loading it, just slide it in, pop it in. So it's a, it's a fun gun to shoot, and whenever you, you uh, shoot it, the thing that's really appealing about this is it is a full auto BB gun. And I, I really didn't appreciate what that meant. Um, there is a little switch. Let's see if I can do this with a pen on the opposite side of the gun. There's a little switch right here. You've got one dot, that's for single action, and then three dots, that's full auto. So whenever you flick this little switch up, it goes to full auto. Single shot, full auto. Whoop, did I get it? No, I didn't, there, full auto. And you can see a little better that angle. So, again, whenever you shoot this in full auto mode, it'll unload the entire magazine in, I don't know, it's like two seconds or three seconds maybe. And it just sounds like a, um, like a Tommy gun. And the action, um, it just, fire, just rapid fires back and forth until all the BBs are spent. And then it locks the, uh, the slide just like a real gun. So when it's done, you'll end up with, the gun will lock in the position like this so that you know that you're out of ammo. It does the same thing on single action as well, but it's a lot more impressive on full auto because you hit the button and just, or pull the trigger and it just goes and then locks the, the uh, slide. Um, I'll try to get some video of it shooting. I'll try to do some slow motion. I don't know if it'll actually capture it or not, but we'll try. Um, like I said, it's a fun, fun gun to shoot can put a BB in it, or a pellet rather, but it doesn't really work very well. I don't think it's a rifle barrel. I think it's a smooth barrel. I haven't looked, to be honest. Um, that's uh, my first impression of the gun. Let me try to get some video of it shooting, and I will share that with you. All right, two important things that uh, I should probably share about this gun. One, the gun is not terribly accurate. But let's be totally honest, you're not buying this gun to be a sharpshooter. It's fun to plink with. And full auto is just, every time I pull the trigger, big old grin on my face. I, I just, I can't help but giggle. I just, I just squeal, it's fun. Um, it's not terribly powerful. You can see in the shots at the, uh, target in my backyard I don't think I hit the target once and that was at maybe 10 meters maybe um, probably not even that much uh, I was aiming at the top of the target and it was hitting down about an inch below or uh, yeah about an inch below the actual paper and I was aiming at the top so I was aiming about six inches high and hitting 10 inches low <laughs> so um, not a precision marksman's weapon, for sure. No doubt about that. I'm not going to lie. It's not an accurate gun. And in full auto, basically you're throwing, you could throw a handful of BBs and have just about the same accuracy. But man, it's fun to shoot. Um, it will put a hole in a tin can, but that's about all you can say. Uh, is it dangerous? Yeah, you can put your eye out. So you want to wear safety glasses. There's a lot of ricochets uh, with BBs. Even using the uh, Dust Devil BBs that I'm, I have, the gun is so weak that the Dust Devil BBs are supposed to be like a frangible uh, compressed powder, lead powder or uh, alloy powder of some kind. And this gun doesn't even throw them hard enough to cause them to break. So they, they just hit and bounce back like a steel BB. 
So um, it's not really worth it to shoot expensive BBs in it. Just get a bunch of the, like a you know five thousand BB container from Crossman or whoever, and use those because it, it, they're just they're cheap and yeah, it doesn't really make it worth it to shoot any anything expensive because it's not accurate and it's not powerful, but it is fun. So um, I think that's about all I wanted to share. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the doobly-doo down below, and I will try to respond in a timely fashion. I apologize for not uh, sharing any more videos more frequently. I got a new job, and I am just totally pegged for time. I've got zero time. Uh, I think I took about 10 minutes to make this video. So have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.